everybody, and welcome back to Poetic Philosophy number 11. I was going to do something else this episode, but because of this week has been kind of tough and rough for everybody, um, I decided to do another, you know, another thing. Two of the uh, poems that I'll be reading in this uh, podcast are my poems, uh, Lady of the Universe and loss of independence <clears throat> but first this is uh something i had posted on twitter a long time ago life's mystery the fog covers the scene two worlds do meet the seen and unseen you don't need a whole lot of words to say something and this was, I wrote this while I observed nature. Nature tells us what's going to come up, what we're going to have to deal with. I had known it at the time, but this short little poem, based on observation, uh, says a lot about what's going on now. You know, the fog covers the scene. <clears throat> Two worlds do meet. The seen and unseen. Because there are stuff out there that we see going on. But there's also the unseen that's going on. Interesting how that happens. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, start this with a poem. I also wrote this a while ago. Uh, but when I was like looking through my stuff on, you know, what I could read, what I could do, this was one of the perfect, perfect, um, perfect poems for this week <clears throat> but I do think things will get better we'll talk about that later <clears throat> loss of independence I weep for my country and the loss of independence from left to right and right to left always missing its mark the moderate, the independent, the independent spirit was this country built upon no political party, only the right one. I weep for the country. I weep for the loss of independence. I weep for the forgotten ideal. I weep for the loss of balance. The forgotten ideal, the people's true power, not the illusion, putting all our hope in government. We give up our power, sleep, let the government solve the problems of a country and a world. Forgotten are the solutions of the people in their centers. Solve the problems of a country and a world. The people who built businesses the people who give donations, the people who give time, the people who know true service. We've forgotten how this world has changed by people working on meaningful service products and projects. <clears throat> the, inter the internet built by hobbyists who wanted to make life better. The blogosphere independence, tired of controlled ideas. The podosphere independence, wanting more programming choice. The internet helps connect land to land. The internet helps connect people to people. Linux, 
the great independent product built by independent software engineers. Keeping the code open. Know the true spirit of innovation and growth. The innovation we use built by the people for the people. Built on top of past successes, the people grow and learn. It's not the government, but it's people. I yearn for a government based upon the true spirit of independent. The independent candidate who embodies independence. Growth always moves forward. We'll find the solutions to new problems. We'll create new markets, new products, and new services. We have forgotten. I weep for my country and in the true spirit of independence. So that was the poem, Loss of Independence. <clears throat> I believe that kind of sums up this week in a nutshell. But I also want to give everybody a chance of hope out there. Because even though in the darkness of the storm, the sun beams through the clouds and lights up a small part of the scene. There is always light in the darkness. That's how we know. That's how we know the darkness. When we view the when we view it through the light. The light of the divine, the light of God. The light of the human spirit. Us humans are a connection. We were built that way. <clears throat> From aliens or gods of the past. But we were built that way. Maybe even by us. <clears throat> but we've forgotten that. We could have built us. We are connected to a higher realm and we are connected through the earth and we walk amongst the earth in these earth vehicles we call bodies there is always light in the darkness that is what Soltis Eve is about <clears throat> the US is about us it's up to the people to make good, smart decisions. We've let other people make decisions for us. It's time for that to stop. We must make our own decisions. If your life seems like it's in decay and it's not where you want it to be, change it. You have the power to change your life. It doesn't matter what's going on. We could be full lockdown. Hopefully we're not here in New Hampshire, but some places are. But we could be in full knockdown. Lockdown. <laughs> knockdown. Freudian slip. We could be in full lockdown and still change our lives to where we want to be. Just remember, too, it is those that fight us, that give us, you know, that make us great. And it's those that love us, that keep us going. It's those that fight us, that make us great. And those that love us, that keep us going. <clears throat> Because when we are in a fight, 
not physically, mentally, emotionally, sometimes spiritually. <clears throat> it is that who we find out who we are. And it is that that makes us grow. And it is that that we all crave. We all crave growth. We don't crave an easy life. Because if we did crave an easy life, more people would have an easy life. Some things to think about. <clears throat> don't give up. Don't give up your freedom for money. If you do, you've lost it all. Money is just a thing of this world. But we are not of this world. A seed through the ground. Birth of an idea. The cycle continues. We are each a seed that was planted a long, long time ago. And we plant our own seeds. <clears throat> ideas, ideas that make us go, gr uh, ideas that make us grow and ideas that make us great. We need the ideas. <clears throat> now, I'm going to read a, actually this poem's a little bit shorter <laughs> than Loss of Independence, you know, Lady of the Universe. And again, I was inspired by this poem. I was inspired to write this poem by a poster I got. It's a very spiritual like poem. And there's a uh, a lady there amongst planets and stars and nebulas. Part of the earth. Maybe the earth back to the story of the two trees. I mentioned the two trees, yes. The two trees are the trees of the Bible. But I put those into a different uh, different perspective. <clears throat> Wintertime is often very dry. <laughs> we drink a lot of water. But that's a good thing because water is that of life and it cleans us out. So... I am going to continue with Lady of the Universe. The spirit that flows through star and planet, the magnetic force within the great being, connects all life through the mystery of love. Fairies come and go, whispering messages of the body, Wholeness of the great body. Healing of the many becomes the one. Through love's mystery. Fairies. Organizers of form. The lady. Keeper of the two trees. One of knowledge. And one of life. Holds each unto its own. The golden ring, time within time, the law of karma. Energy cannot be destroyed, only reshaped. Two paths in the golden wood, and only can travel one. Decision brings decision, brings decision. The golden ring. The golden wood. 
the golden time long ago. The lady lends her hand. The moment of inspiration. The moment of creation. The cycle completes. Knowledge to knowledge. Life to life. The trap of the two trees is the golden ring in the golden wood of the golden time. The golden eagle high above the two trees knows the truth and escapes the cycle. Hope you like that. The golden eagle in this poem represents the one consciousness and I will talk about the one consciousness in other podcasts. I am a mystic poet after all and I hope you all enjoyed this podcast, this show. I hope it's um, hope it gives you perspective and I hope it gives you hope it's not poetry that gets rejected it's the people's ideology that can't let them see basic truth look for basic truth Find your own path. Travel your own path. If you want to travel a different path, then do. You can do that anywhere. We could be in full. We could be in full lockdown and you could still change your life to where you want. We have that power. I thank you all for listening. I hope you all stay creative in the magic of life. And life is magic. Look for it out there. You will find it. Thank you. Good day. Medicine, law, business, engineering. These are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for.